times of crisis is essential it is both dangerous and immensely important it is dangerous for those people who have no courage to explore new dimensions of life in that case they are bound to disintegrate in many kinds of madness because their mind was made up by the society conditioned by the society now the society is disintegrating the mind cannot remain its roots are in the society it is constantly nourished by the society now the nourishment is disappearing this is a moment of crisis as the society begins to disintegrate a great suspicion a doubt that was never there before arises in human mind and if they were just obedient who have never gone beyond any limit that society has provided who have always been respected honorable citizens in other words just mediocre they will immediately go mad they will start committing suicide they will start exhibiting many signs of madness in the times of crisis the danger is for those who have enjoyed the times when the society was settled when there was no problem everything was at ease they were honored respected these were the people who had enjoyed the obedience of the mind and these are going to be the sufferers it is a simple arithmetic they will go psychotic they will go neurotic and these words are not just enough to explain the phenomenon but the time of crisis is of tremendous significance for those daring courageous ones who have never bothered about society's respectability its honor who have never bothered about what others think about them but have done only that which they felt right to do in every circumstance and situation they have in certain way been always rebellious individualistic for those people the times of crisis are just golden because the society is disintegrating now it cannot condemn anyone it is itself condemned it cannot say to others that they are wrong it is itself proving wrong its whole wisdom seems to be proving foolish and superstitious those who can dare can use this opportunity to go beyond the mind because now the society cannot prevent him cannot hinder him now he is free of the bondage of the society it is almost like a situation in jail when the doors are open the guards have disappeared and the jailer is not to be found the people who have some sense some intelligence will use this opportunity for freedom but those who have become so enslaved that they cannot think of freedom imprisonment has become their home they will simply panic what is going to happen today no guards no jailer the doors are open who will take care of us who will provide food for us there will be people whose slavery has penetrated to their very soul these people will go haywire but the people who always who were always in search of a moment 
when they can escape from the prison, will be immensely happy. This was the time they have always been waiting and praying for. They will escape out of the prison into the open sky. Going beyond the mind is going into the open sky. Full of stars, the moon, the sun, the immensity of it, it becomes yours. The whole existence becomes yours. The mind is a small cage. So the moments of crisis are both and that is what is happening. You see every day around you. There has never been so intense a search for spiritual growth, for meditation, but there has not been so much madness either. Both are happening simultaneously because the status quo is no longer powerful. It has lost its control. When Galileo found that the earth moves around the sun, not the vice versa, as Bible says, Pope asked him to be present in his court. Many things happened that day. One was very important. Galileo asked, what does it matter if one statement in the Bible is proved wrong? It does not prove the whole Bible wrong. I am a devout Christian, practicing, and I do not see the point that if one statement is wrong, it makes a difference. But the Pope said, you do not understand. The Pope was right. He said, when one statement is proved wrong, then thousands of problems will arise. One, that God can be wrong. And if he is wrong about one statement, what is the certainty about other statements? Just one brick taken out of the structure, the whole structure may collapse. I cannot allow, the Pope said, any statement in the Bible to be wrong. His argument is significant today not only one thing about the old mind, the old society is wrong, but so many things are wrong that it needs an absolute idiot to still believe in it. Just a little intelligence and it is impossible to be the part of the old mind. It has lost credibility and not only in one place but all over the world. There are different kinds of old traditions but they all have come to the point where so many things are scientifically proved wrong. Galileo was forced to change his statement. He said, whether I change his statement that it is, it is not the earth that moves around the sun, instead it is sun, but that makes no difference to sun and its sun and earth and their movement. This is the situation of many people of intelligence. Either they are going insane, you can see it. Psychotherapy and other schools of therapy are on the rise. They are the most highly paid people. People are going through the psychoanalysis for years at a time. In fact, people have started boasting in women's club, in women's club, you can go and hear it that one woman may be saying how many years you have been in psychoanalysis. Just seven years. I have been in psychoanalysis for 15 years. It has become something of great pride. But to be in psychoanalysis means you are insane. Otherwise, why are you taking the treatment and it is spreading? People go to attend the, med the meditation sessions, but they come out without any trace of transformation. Transformation 
is an inner happening. The intelligent people are rushing towards the East to find some way, some method, meditation, be it yoga, Zen, Sufism, Hasidism, somewhere somebody must know how to get rid of this critical stage, how to go beyond this moment of crisis, the traditional one, and still remain centered, sane and intelligent. People are moving towards meditation. It is very hilarious because thousands of people are coming from the East to the West to teach the science, medicine, electronics and there are people who are going from the West to the East to sit silently, do nothing and learn meditation. But it is a beautiful time. The grip of society is losing the mediocre will suffer, but anyway, they are not enjoying, they are really not living. They were simply being hypocrites. By being insane, at least they will be real, authentic. They do not lose anything. Of course, they won't gain much. Therefore, the moment of crisis is very important. It is that time when for the first time you start searching something deeper to come out of this situation of crisis. You have been living your life the way you have been conditioned, always quarreling and things like these. The people who go beyond the mind will create new man, new mind and most special things to be remembered about the new mind is that it will never become a tradition. It will be constantly renewed, new. If it becomes a tradition, it will be the same thing. So never make meditation a tradition. A new mind has to become continuously new, every day new, ready to accept any unexpected experience, any unexpected truth, just available, vulnerable. It will be tremendous excitement, a great ecstasy, a great challenge. Those who go through these moments of crisis, only those can attain to something which is beyond mind. When you look into the life of Buddhas, you will find a moment of inner crisis when they were not finding the answers to the basic questions. Today we spend nearly 25 to 27 years of our precious life in university campuses, learning this and that. At the end of the period of 25, 27 years, you are given degrees, you receive honors, and you are told that you are ready to plunder into the world as you wish. But does university education prepares you for the simple questions that life poses on a day-to-day -day basis? Do you know how to deal in a situation of crisis? Do you know how to deal with human beings and all that? If not, then there is something, a dimension is missing in education. And the dimension that is missing in education is the dimension of meditation. Meditation brings a new challenge, a new understanding. So never think that crisis is bad, it is good. It all depends on you, how you 
avail of this opportunity that has come to you. You can go beyond this. Few people may lose their mask and will be actually what they are, neurotic and psychotic. But at least they will be true and honest. You may think they are mad, but they are not. They are simply in a state of great surprise. They have believed too much in the old mind and this old mind has betrayed them. But the best of the intelligence will reach to the heights that they, will, they have never known before. And if even in a traditional world, a man like Gautam Buddha or Chongsu or Pythagoras is possible, we can conceive that in the atmosphere that the new mind will create, a thousandfold more awakened people, enlightened people, will become easily possible. If the new mind can prevail, then life can become an enlightening process. And enlightenment will not be something rare. Instead, it will become an ordinary human experience. As such, it happens once in a while to somebody very special, but not an ordinary human experience. Always remember the moment of crisis is very important. More alertness, awakening is needed in a totally different understanding and awareness.